So you want a business email address, but you're not sure you're ready to spring for Google Workspace or Office 365. First of all, I commend your decision. A professional email address with a custom domain that matches your business brand is a great way to leave a good first impression with prospective customers. Joe Business Guy at AOL.com just doesn't really do the trick. But I get it, some paid email services can be a bit pricey, especially if you're not used to paying anything at all. Jumping from a free Gmail account to something that costs over $100 a year can be an expensive proposition. Fortunately, there are a couple free or almost free options that allow you to use a custom domain name with your existing Gmail account or other email provider. First up, the quick and dirty method, set up a email forwarding rule with your domain registrar. This is the cheapest and easiest method, but it's not the most complete. More on that in a second. If you don't already have a domain name registered, you're going to need to purchase one in order for this to work, but it is a worthwhile investment and it should only cost you about 10 or $15, depending on your domain name extension. That is .com, .net, .show, .limo, .diamonds. There's a lot of fun ones you can play around with. Now, I'm not married to any one particular domain name registrar, uh, but Namecheap is a solid choice, and as you might guess by its name, it's relatively cheap, and it's really easy to set up an email forwarding rule. Just follow these simple steps. Now, the specific steps to get an email forwarding rule set up is going to vary from domain registrar to domain registrar, but it should be more or less the same. You can always refer to your registrar's knowledge base or do a quick Google search to find the specific steps. I'm using Namecheap, so all you have to do is log in, go to your account, go to your domain list, and find the domain name that you want to set the forwarding rule for. In this case, sidekick.show. I'll click manage. And right on this main page here, we'll scroll down to redirect email. And I will click add forwarder. And for this demo, I want any email that gets sent to hello at sidekick.show to forward to sidekickvideodemo at gmail.com click save changes and that should be that it might take a few minutes for the rule to actually take effect but let's give it a test spin we'll send an email to hello at sidekick.show test 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 blah 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 and send and we'll hop over to the sidekick video demo at gmail inbox refresh that and there we go. Test, test, test. Blah, blah, blah. Easy peasy. Now, the one shortcoming of this method is it's only a one-way street. If I reply to this email, it's going to come from sidekickvideodemo at gmail.com. It's not going to come from my business email address. If you want to take it to the next level and be able to send emails from your business address, follow the steps for the next method. Now, to be able to actually send emails from a custom business email address, you need a domain and email hosting. But email hosting typically comes packaged free with web hosting. So if you already have a business website, chances are you already have access to everything you need to get this to work. If you don't already have web hosting, I'd recommend you take a look at Hostinger for really affordable web hosting that comes with free email hosting. If you use my affiliate link, you can get additional discounts on their already low prices. But I wouldn't recommend you actually use your web host email service, uh, regardless of who your host is. Typically, the interface is really lackluster, especially compared to something like Gmail. And who wants to be jumping back and forth between multiple email services in order to keep track of all your communication, especially when the interface is just awful, but I digress. You can still use the email hosting service to deliver and receive your business email, but port all of your messages to your email service of choice. You should be able to use whatever email host you want and whatever email client you want to work together. Just Google search for different methods, but I'm gonna show you specifically how to get this set up with Gmail and 
hosting or again if you don't have web hosting you can use my link sidekick.show slash hosting or you'll see you can grab premium web hosting that comes with free email for as little as 249 a month but you do you i'm going to sign into my existing account and show you how to get this set up when you log into Hostinger, we'll click over to emails and we'll see the different domains that I currently have on my Hostinger account. I'm going to use Self-Employment Sidekick and click Manage. I'm going to use the Titan free email plan. I'll set an email for that. Now I need to go on a quick little side quest because my domain name isn't registered with Hostinger. If it was, they take care of all of this for me. If your email is already set up, you can skip ahead a couple minutes. Otherwise, follow along. On this page, I'm going to find the MX records that I need to add to my DNS records over at my domain registrar, which for selfemploymentsidekick.com, that's what I'm going to be using for this email account. I'm going to hop over to Cloudflare where I have that registered, go to the selfemploymentsidekick.com DNS settings, and I need to add some MX records. So I'm going to add a record, type is MX, and let's double check the values provided by Hostinger, add a new MX record, I'll just copy all of this. MX priority 10 host is at that's just the domain root and I'll copy this value mx1.titan.email and plug that in here so at there's the value and I'll just leave that for auto and save oh no sorry priority is 10 and let's see there's a second MX record go back we'll add the second MX record that's priority is 20 and we'll come back here to verify the changes. Oh, MX record is verified. SPF record. Oh, I missed that. We need to add the SPF record as well. Expand that. Here we go. We need to add a TXT record. Let's copy this value and we'll go back to the DNS record. Uh, here's the TXT record. I'm going to update this and save. Now, let's verify, and boom, domain connected to Titan email. Side quest complete. So now let's get back to our email account. Selfemploymentsidekick.com is active. If you were to send an email to david at selfemploymentsidekick.com, it would send to this address and drop into this webmail inbox, which I know I was knocking the interface of webmail clients pretty hard. This isn't that bad, but I still want to send my email to my Gmail account, manage everything from there. So let's hop over to Gmail and underneath settings, see all settings. We'll go to accounts and import and we will go to check mail from other accounts. Add a mail account. Email address is david at selfemploymentsidekick.com. Click next. Import emails from my other accounts. Username is the same as my email address. And the password is what I use to log into my webmail. And it imported some information here, but let's just go back to our email settings to double check. Go back to Hostinger under email for selfemploymentpsychic.com. I'll click configure desktop apps and here we have information to configure via IMAP, configure via POP. Here this is what we want. So password is your business mail password. Incoming server is pop.titan.email and the encryption is SSL. Port is 995. Let's remember that. I'll copy pop.titan. We'll go back here and we'll paste that server and the port was 995. We will not leave a copy of retrieved messages on the server. That will keep us from hitting our pretty low one gig quota on Titan Mail. We'll always use SSL and we will label incoming messages. This will help us tell uh, which 
emails are coming from where when we look at our inbox. We'll add an account. Your mail account has been added. You can now retrieve mail from this account. Would you also like to be able to send mail as David at selfemploymentsidekick.com? Yes, I want to be able to send mail. So we'll click next. I'll just give this account a name, email address, treat as an alias. And next step, let's go back to Hostinger and we'll copy the outgoing server information smtp.titan.email. The encryption is port 587 and SSL is 465. So, username, oh, so SMT server, SSL port is 465, and my username is my email address, my password, and we'll add an account. Congratulations, we successfully located your other server and verified your credentials. Just one more step. An email with a confirmation link was sent to david at selfemploymentsidekick.com. We'll go back to our Gmail account. All right, so we just received our first message that was sent to david at selfemploymentsidekick. So that's coming to the inbox just fine. Uh, and it's labeled as such. We can actually, let's, uh, let's click this label and change the color to something a little bit more eye-catching. So now when we see it in the inbox, we can clearly see what emails are coming to our business email address. All right, now let's test sending an email from our business account. When we click compose, now we have the choice to send from our Gmail account, or we can click this drop down menu and choose our business email. Let's send this blah, 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 and send. And there we go. Works like a charm. One more thing to uh, configure. If we go back to Gmail settings, let's click see all settings, accounts and import. And under the send mail as settings, you can set when replying to a message to reply from the same address the message was sent to instead of always replying from your Gmail account. So if somebody sends an email to your business email, by default, you'll always send from your business email. I think this is a good setting to check and save uh, just to avoid any confusion. So there you go, relatively painless, a few minutes of your time and a few dollars a month if you don't already have web hosting to get you a nice professional business email account. No more Joe's Plumbing at hotmail.msn.geocities.us. One final method to consider just go ahead and buy Google Workspace or Office 365. I'm a Google user myself, and while, yes, it is more than zero dollars, it's not absurdly expensive. And for me, a digital entrepreneur who works primarily from home, and this is the main way that I show up to clients, I think it's well worth the small investment in order to be able to not only send and receive emails with my business address, but to host virtual meetings to collaborate on documents and share files with Google Drive and everything else you get with a Google Workspace plan. But if you don't mess around that much with sharing docs and calendar events and all you really need is email, then follow the instructions I just shared with you and you should be set. I hope this was helpful. And if you need any additional assistance getting this set up, I'd be happy to walk you through step-by-step, step, get this set up for you. Just reach out to me at selfemploymentsidekick.com and book a pick my brain session. And let me know if there's anything else I can do to help. I'm always looking for new questions to answer, new topic ideas for the channel, new opportunities to help my fellow entrepreneurs. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.